Something else that we do within the field of Tantra, it is to become active co-creators of our lives, active designers or active architects of our destiny lines. Instead of just going through life and waiting for things to come our way, we are going to consciously design what we want to create and what we want to attract in our lives, in our fields. And we do that by using very specific mantric codes or mantric energies. So imagine that a mantra or a word of power, a Sanskrit word, which is like a light code that has been given to us, we take this light code and we embody, we embed it in the core of our minds, in the core of our system. And so what this does is that it activates a superpower that might not be activated otherwise. For instance, if I call on the energy of truth, right, the code word for that one is Satya, Satya Yama, we, becomes mas we become masters of truth. Masters of truth means that when we speak, when we make choices in life, it is in alignment with our higher self, it is in alignment with the core of our being. If we speak something, if we say something, it's because that's really the truth that is vibrating in the core of our being. So this is what we try to practice. This is what we try to activate when, uh, when we sing mantras. And this is just one power, the power of truth. But then we have lots of other powers. For instance, the power of flow, of ease and flow, which would be nada, nada yama. We be become masters of flow, of being able to, to live life from a fluid place. And then we activate our feminine energy, our masculine energy, our light and our darkness. And all that comes together within a beautiful life experience.